Hello everyone, this is Tapan Kumar from Mindfair Solutions. For more details, you can visit to mindfairsolutions.com or my personal blog, blogspot www.tapankumar.it. This video tutorial is something related to a trigger, and this video tutorial will explain you how to create a simple trigger in SQL Server. Let's go through the agenda for this video tutorial. Okay, well, first we will see what do you mean by trigger, I mean, what a trigger is, and what it does. And all the things related to trigger and in second point we will see the types of triggers and in third point we will create a simple trigger in SQL Server 2012 okay let's open the SQL Server first here and it's SQL Server okay let me tell you what do you mean by a trigger trigger is some kind of spe a special kind of store procedure that is related to a database object I mean database table okay and it, it gets executed when some kind of operations operations are done with this database table let's say uh, let's say this is a table jq user and you want some specific operations to be done in this with this table when some insertion or updation or deletion things are going to be happen in this table and then you can attach a trigger to, to this table and this is the special this is the speciality of a trigger i mean this is a store procedure but you can't explicitly invoke or call that store procedure it will only execute when the desired uh, operations are going to happen in the background with this table okay now let's the types of triggers there are something around two types of triggers one is after triggers and another one is instead of triggers after triggers means let's say after triggers after triggers are those triggers mm, those can be fired automatically after some operations on a on a database object that is database table let's say there are three types of uh, after triggers one is in session trigger after in session trigger then of update trigger then deletion trigger okay let's say there is a table in the database that is dvo jq user and you want some specific tasks to be done in this data in this database when user inserts some data to this table okay then you can write down a trigger that is a after trigger after trigger and the trigger will be after insertion trigger so each time when a user inserts a single row in this database object then this trigger will be executed and it will do all the uh, works what you have written in this trigger okay so and uh, okay this is one type of trigger that is after triggers and after trigger and after that there is another type of trigger that is instead of instead of triggers instead of triggers are the triggers those can redefine the meaning of a function or operation let's say uh, there is an operation in a database of uh, with the database objects that is insertion okay and you are trying to insert a single row in a database object then you can redefine this insert query let's say you are what you will write insert xyz i mean something values like that and it will insert some rows into this check uh, users table so if you want to change the meaning of this insert keyword then you can write down a trigger with the, and you can attach the trigger to this data this uh, database object jq user and this will automatically change the meaning of insert because instead of inserting a single row to this database the sql server will execute that trigger which is trying to when you are when you are trying to insert any data, any rows to this table and whatever you are waiting inside the trigger that will that will get executed okay okay 
Now we will move towards a simple example on Trigger in SQL Server 2012. Now, okay. Okay, f before we are going through this uh, demo, we need to create two tables. Let me create two tables. One is sales table. Okay, this one create table sales. Let 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 us give it three uh, three columns. One is ID and make it as primary key, and another one is total sales. You know, for this time being, we have declared this total sales as var care, but it's not a very good option to make a sales things like a uh, var care. You, are, you can assign it as an in, but it's a demo video, okay. And another thing is that uh, sold it is a column on the date is var care fifteen, okay. And just execute that thing. Okay, now it has created a sales table in our uh, in our database. Let's refresh this thing, and you can see this TVO sales. Okay, if you select something, it will give you three empty rows. Okay, okay. Now now create another table. As trigger result okay and it will have three columns one is id that is ID identity and primary key another one is total sales of the day and another one is sold date okay now let's execute this thing and this will create another table in our database named trigger result okay that's all now let's open a new query window and here we are going to create the trigger okay okay let's go on this is the trigger okay we'll create trigger update trigger result on sales this is an after trigger result okay on sales after insert okay this statement create trigger of the trigger result will create a trigger on sales table on which circumstances it is after insert okay so this is an after insert trigger okay what will we do let's declare on variable declare current date declare current sold amount set current date equals to this thing and current sold amount as and select the top one sales from sales by id descending okay what will do this thing and this will select the top row from the total sales table top total sales a column value from the sales table okay and let's assign it to the current sold amount and after that let's uh, check if this uh, check and select the top one sold date from the trigger trigger result and order by it id descending is if this equals to the current date okay then update trigger result say total sales history equal to total sales of the day plus current sold amount by sold date equal to current date okay now let's run this thing now it has created a trigger named update trigger result now what we will do that now what we'll do now we will we will go to insert a row in our sales table okay let's insert here insert into sales values these two things sorry okay. it 
not show you to empty I mean mm, it will not select anything let's insert this thing now you can see that one row is updated we are just going to we are just inserting one row into the sales table but in the message window you can see that there is two rows affected affected let's see select this one it will show you one row is inserted in the sales table and also another row is inserted in the trigger result table okay now let's insert another thing another time this is i think this 30 in the sales table okay let's insert now also you can see that you, you are inserting into only the sales table but it is affecting the trigger result table okay now select these two things now you'll see that the sales table will have two rows one is 20 and that is the date time and also another one is the id2 with the total sales 30 and date time with yes but the trigger result will make a sum of these two 30 plus 20 equals 40 i mean the total sales of the day is 50 in the and the date time is 2014 2014 of f 14th of may 5th okay okay let's take a look into the trigger what it is doing okay what it's doing is first selecting the current date and convert i mean first selecting in the current date and storing it in a local variable then it's getting the current sold amount from the sales table okay and it's storing into another local variable and finally it checks the checks the sold date of the trigger result okay from the and sold date of the trigger result table is equal to current date or not if the sold date of the trigger result table is equal to current date i mean this sold date is equal to the current date then what it will do it will update this column it will update the total sales of the day by adding these two things okay by adding these two things it will do what it will do it will update the trigger result say total sales of the day equal total sales of the day plus current sold amount where sold date equals to current date if the sold date top sold date of the trigger result is not equal to current date then what it will do it will insert another row into the trigger result okay and as you can see there let's say we can we are going to we'll change we'll change this thing <coughs> as fix okay and if you insert this thing it will insert two rows okay it will insert another okay this is now we have completed this i mean we have completed this say uh, a simple example and trigger trigger result and that's all for this simple trigger example in sql server thanks by the way i am tapan kumar from mindpress solutions